Alrighty then. Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Flying T Bar C. It is time once again for some midday matinee. We're starting out a new week, and we have all sorts of new shit happening this week. Um, so, the midday matinee shows, that is both Thursday and Friday segments, are going to be Honkai Star Rail going forward for a while. Um, Throwback Thursday will now be taken up by the Ratchet and Clank series. Uh, we will be starting the second one with Going Commando. I figured out how to make my PS3 work. So, we are going to get around, hopefully, some of the lag issues. <laughs> um, there's also the potential that I might use a... F like, we might do a New Game Plus playthrough. Maybe. I don't know. Probably not, though, to be honest. I don't know, we'll see. I'll make up my mind about that later. Um, Fantasy Friday will now be Final Fantasy IX. Uh, Saturday, uh, the Strider Day one on Saturday is still going to be Final Fantasy Tactics Advance 2. Sunday Fun Day will now be Octopath Traveler 2, because we managed to beat Galdera. Uh, and we also completed the Tales of Arise DLC, which means we're going to be diving back into a different DLC, uh, Pokemon Scarlet, going into Indigo Disc. So, since you guys uh, heard that announcement and all that, don't forget to go check out my YouTube and Twitter, which YouTube is my archive where you can check out all of those finales that I just mentioned. Uh, while Twitter, on the other hand, is where any announcements are for the stream, including the entire schedule change that I just outlined for all of you guys. So, yeah. But now, it's time for Midday Matinee, which means Honkai Star Rail, where we're doing uh, side quests and things like that, because we got to raise up our world level so that we can actually continue the story. Uh, who knows, we might be able to earn enough to get some uh, pulls done, too. So, yeah. Oh, also, we're going to be doing the freebie stuff on the new characters on the banners. So, yeah, let's get into it. Click that button, click this button, click this button. And click this button. I'm so excited for this week. We get to start so many new games. It's going to be fun. I also need to go find a comprehensive walkthrough for Final Fantasy IX. Maybe? Because I want the money trick. Like, there's... A streamer that I watched play through nine had a walkthrough where they had a bunch of money tricks. So yeah, that was definitely interesting. Uh, claim that pass so that we can work on that. All sorts of stuff, most of it we can't do. Um, however, we'll go ahead and do all the freebie stuff real quick. We'll start with the four stars. Doing these things is always a good thing. Dislodge, the melody increases attack, so she's a buffer. Ally with Benediction additionally deals minor lightning damage when attacking. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. Uh, regenerates 
and so a battery also so a buffer battery that's actually kind of fucking awesome <laughs> like I can totally get behind a buffer battery Dun 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 Okay, so Ting Yun, not bad. I can see how. Oh, god damn it! I didn't mean to do that. Go away! I don't want to do it. How can I leave? Let's leave. There we go. All right, and then we have March. What up, Saduk? How you doing, buddy? Dun dun dun. Move carefully. Mm. <laughs> Here. I'm good just looking through Steam. Ooh, finding anything interesting on Steam? You can't run. Um Try that again. We'll see. No interesting conflict. I don't know for sure if I'm going to or not yet. Like, design-wise and just the look of the character, I'm kind of interested in, uh, Blade. Just cause, I mean, he looks like a badass. Ooh, what'd you find on Steam? What? You interested in an RPG game? I don't believe it. <laughs> Here. Let's make it quick. What RPG is it? Ultimate ignore. Spirit be gone. Hmm. 
Mm, quantum damage, minor quantum damage. Massive quantum damage to a single enemy, ignores weakness types, and reduces the target's toughness. So, debuff. The smell of sin. I shall be the judge. That happened. Recount. By the will of the Ten Lords, the Ten Lords decree hereby ordain. Oh, those enemies revive once? Okay. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Thanks for the support. Almost thought I had like fucked up. That'll take more than medicine. <laughs> Do you admit this crime? <laughs> I shall be the judge. So what is this RPG you found? They're Mev. After HP is lowered several times, automatically deals damage to all enemies. Consume HP to use powerful ability. All right, so he's that type of character. I eh, don't know how I feel about that. Okay, uh, deals minor wind damage, consumes HP to enhance basic attack. This turn does not end after this skill is used. Okay, so buff this and attack the same turn. Uh, sets current HP to 50% of max HP and deals massive wind damage to a single enemy and wind damage to adjacent targets. When blade's HP is lowered, it gains one stack of charge. When the maximum charge stack is reached, blade immediately deals wind damage to all enemies and restores HP. Oh, he's got a self heal also. Wow. Okay. So we do that, but then we can do this. That paradise may be unreachable for me. Savor it for me. Hmm. Yeah. 
Jesus. <laughs> okay, so I'm liking Blade. Like, quite a bit, actually. Like, that is some big dick damage. And now I'm assuming this is a new chick? Because I haven't seen anything for her before? Uh, increases all allies, weak break this deficiency, and further delays the action of weakness broken enemies. Okay... Hmm. So a buffer and debuffer worked together. Sound Continue patrols. Uh, minor ice damage skill gains that. When she has that, increases all allies' damage and weakness break. Uh, increases all type resistance and their attacks apply the bloom. And whatever the bloom does. Um, increases speed for all allies. Breaking enemies target weakness will additionally deal ice break damage. And the next time entering battle automatically triggers the skill one time. Hmm. I won't surrender. Naughty child. Okay. Do that. Do this. All will be swept away by the wind. Oh god. <laughs> no more playing nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. Holy shnikes. After reaching that, clear Forgotten Hall Memory Stage 3. Leading Lights. So yeah, we have lots of missions that we're doing. Uh, before we do that, though, we have other shit we have to do. Mm, you there? Mm, can't find Pom Pom? No. That's a scary thought. I can't even imagine the experience without Pom Pom. Wait, why would you ask a question like that? Just curious about what you were doing. Um, oh, grinding calyxes, I guess. Um, did you even sleep? Credits or light comes. Bar must have been working really hard, huh? Need some company? Sure. Hey, I'm coming. Nice. Madame Herta's Heritor Club. 
I knew she was John G. Explain. Explain. Think long and hard about it. With a space station this large, how much profit can one squeeze out? This is not something to joke about. She's mad and hurt a student. What about it? So we're not allowed to talk about her just because she's hurt a student? She has a lot of juicy stuff about her. Explain. It's a bit inconvenient right now. Inconvenient my foot. Care to give me a recap? Figure it out yourself. Stop interrupting. Spill it. Nah, forget it. Stop baiting us. This is an anonymous chat room, so no need to beat around the bush. Just spill it already. It's not like you guys don't already know. Get to the point. You know, that whole embezzling thing. Did you see the huge pile of parcels at the reception hall? All of them are addressed to our young lead researcher. Goodness gracious. So this is where all the money has gone this whole time. No wonder the budget's been so tight. Just hold your horses. Let's not rush their accusations around yet. We can't rely on your words. Where's the evidence? Evidence? Did you see the huge... Pile of parcels in the reception hall. All of them were addressed to our young. And she bought them in her own name. How else? If she bought them under the space station name, she declared on the record. Sure, the other researchers not that careless. Maybe she paid for them herself. Other than Madame Herda, who on earth can afford the things with their own money? You guys know that Arlen from the security department. I saw him acting all weird and suspicious at the front desk. If it weren't for the guilty look on his face, I could have never noticed. But since you brought it up, I've also seen Arlen acting weird when receiving some packages. I told you so. Now it all adds up. Now it all adds up. I'm here speculation without solid evidence. Believe what you want. Oh, come on. No way of spinning this one. It's practically an open secret that Arlen was a crony brought in by that little Asta girl. I was waiting I was waiting a good part of the day for some juicy gossip. Is that it? Exactly. Well it's all said and done. There still isn't any hard proof. You just said yourself that Arlen was acting all suspicious. That's all I said. I'm actually covertly investigating the source of her assets, but it isn't time to reveal everything yet. Just you wait. Within days there will be a major story at the space station. That better be the case. Minimum stair fell, live for her life. Hmm. <laughs> okay. God damn it. All right. Reports of the Curios Collection Squad's frontline state that the type of curio called Xenohydra has been spotted at the space station. Hereby, one it issues a warrant and notice to all her to research if you have any information regarding this. Please, blah, blah, blah. sizable balance. How much does it pay? Massive influx of information is coming in all at once, and yet not a single relevant clue has been found to lead to anything. Patience, everyone, listen to me. Carry on with your search and go to the reception hall if you have anything to discuss. God damn it. I'm participating in Cosmo Premium Special Auction. Tap the button to help me take 50% off of this. Oh, this is like my friend in the Tema crap that he always sends me. Are you hacked? I am Asta. Wait. Sorry, I accidentally clicked the wrong button. That's fine now. The page is already invalid. I'm curious. Do you use coupons? Why would I use them? Bart, why do you always ask weird questions? So, what happened? I was shopping just now, didn't notice that my cart was full. Then I hurried to make the purchases, I accidentally sent you a link when I typed too fast. I also want to have the problem of placing orders too fast. 
I'm just buying some stuff for the space station. Assignments. Claim. Okay. Yo, Tony! Ooh, what up, Bony? <laughs> that was a terrible recovery. But what up, dude? How are you doing? <laughs> mm -hmm. Just busy, busy, busy. And, but beyond, I mean, I'm busy, but I'm good. So, that's definitely a plus. Uh, how far am I from a five star? Um, I don't know. Let me find out again. View details. This is the right button, right? Uh, records. <laughs> so 10 pages in five per page so it looks like i'm 50 pulls and so at this point i should be at the 50 50 right Like, the next 10 pool I do should have the 50-50 attached to it. And then we've got a long way to go on this one before I get my, my guaranteed one. Now we're going to save, like, I, I will be pulling on Blade probably, but we're going to save for a little bit. Uh, right, Nameless Honor, which is crap I honestly never do. So, 30 more basically if unlucky. Okay, so let's see here. Oh, claim, claim, claim. That's always good stuff. Calyx mm. Crimson. We have all sorts of stuff. Forgotten Hall, can't do that yet. Alright, let's figure out what mission we're going to actually work on next. Let's see here. There we go. We're just gonna start at the bottom of the list and work our way up. Start clearing out these side quests. Seems like Aston. What the fuck, pom pom? Tickets way is oh, bar. You're not the same person pom pom first met. What happened to you? The only 
anything that's changed is your opinion of me. Conductor's eyes never lie. You are not the same person that you were. Same thing happened on March 7th when she first went out trailblazing. How can Papa put this? Feels like you're more mature, more stable. More reliable. Pop I'll be sure of it. Pop has got some small rewards for your grip. Skip the formalities, take it all. Pop will keep an eye on your progress and keep preparing small rewards for you. As for what those will be, you will find out soon enough. We have to find it. How's my trailblaze level? Oh. Okay. Next mission, except for the fact that apparently we have the fuck pom pom. Ah, someone's learning fast. I'm just average. I rank maybe third on the express. Confidence is a good thing. It's easy to feel lost when you're barely traveling alone on a journey of growth. Sometimes it's wise to reach out to the papata. Okay. Whatever it is, we got another mission. Alright, into the simulated universe we go. What rewards have been refreshed? Download initial characters. No, wait, hang on. Before we do this, mm, characters. I'm not done yet. Ascend. Send. I must stay focused. <laughs> My healing skills are second to none. <sighs> Just as the data bank requires updating, so I must keep evolving. Dun dun dun. Almost. Almost got him there. But that's enough to do what we need. Hush, dog. And download characters. Me. Oh, uh, yeah, not me. So, ice, lightning, fire, and earth. Ice on everybody, so definitely want to bring March. Uh, lightning. Mm. Mm. And, huh. Okay. Obtain a one star blessing. Obtain 100 cosmic fragments. Lend me your strength. I do love the fact that we have managed to unlock auto battle. Oh, stand in a vast expanse 
of whiteness and raise your head. Do you see a tall, valiant figure with a crown, like a crown prince striding across the fragmentum? Dazzling southern wind wavered. Do you see them drawing a bow? Then you suddenly leap into the distance. Or then they suddenly leap into the distance. So you clearly see them coming, but after a moment, only a shadow remains. Lawn, the hunt. Herda whispered. Don't be in a daze. They are ahead of you. Hurry up and call them. Find yourself unable to move at all. It's like it's like they have nailed you to an invisible wall. And you don't even know when they made the move. You struggle. Say their name and... It's a turn-based game. You have to deal with me one, uh, one time before you can go. Uh, your name is Lon. They ignore you. And a blink of an eye disappear from your sight. Don't be too discouraged. I will increase their social attribute next time. They, they move too fast, but I was able to intercept some of their information. They're probably not very familiar with Akavili. Perhaps they only have their enemy, the Abundance, on their mind. The Abundance? Yeah, Yaoshi. The Ion of Abundance. The universe's kindest being in the whole universe, probably also a monster. They would heal everything they see, but is a small but is as small as an atom or as large as a star system. Perhaps they can solve your Stellon problem for you. Mm, every time a certain number of turns has passed. Da -da -da. The same character acts consecutively, their attack increases. Uh, we'll just go with this one. Alright. Rules are made to be broken. Mm, give me shield. Lend me your strength. Nice. Shielded characters have increased crit rate. Fuck yeah, let's do that. Because everybody has a shield at the beginning of battle. Currents. Combat. Currents. You encounter a doll whose head is three times as tall, or whose body is three times as tall as its head. It has a straw-like hair and made of ropes and a counter on its stomach. You open a manual which reads, This is a doll to vent extreme emotions on made by Aha in their likeness. They wish to see themselves beaten up. The worse the beating is, the happier they will get and the more gold coins they will award you. No, Aha is not involved in the quality control process. Hit it hard. The number of Aha's doll reaches 299. One more. There is so much frustration in your life after all. I'll have Aha hit it down on me. The number of the counter increases rapidly when it reaches 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Seven, eight, nine, two billion, one hundred and forty-seven million, four hundred and eighty-three thousand, six hundred and forty-seven. It suddenly shifts to zero. This is an integer overflow. Despite the manufacturers who are still using 32-bit systems to, <laughs> to store data in a modern world. You gain nothing. Eh, probably shouldn't have hit it so hard. Mm. 
Now we have another occurrence. You're on hall number five of the Sigma Galaxy United Theater. You find it hard to believe you're sitting among a group of well-dressed, sophisticated ladies and gentlemen. You feel a buzz of anticipation is for the show behind a red curtain. You start picturing the Salsato Troops Cosmic Princess, whose dress was a hem wide enough to cover the entire stage. Or it might be a scientific installation performance. The favorite of the old folks from the Jacobin School of Mathematics and Science. The Pronto Expert System, an AI device, is used to calculate the plot of the play. Or, to be more mighty, the Sigma Maiden's unplugged accompaniment. The Eternal Maiden is the man who contains the golden ratio. His coiled posture when lifting the sun inch forever mission to the memory of the entire world. Soon the curtains are drawn. On the stage stands a lady in a slime with slimy blue skin. She lifts her head and starts to sing a synthesized coloratura. You puff your chest and try to move, uh, but you find yourself unable to move. You feel something cold as it gets inside of your wrist. Yes, you're very sure that it's a gun. This is from fucking the fifth element. We've changed the program. The era of Akavili has ended and classical arts are dead. Nowadays, action movies are the crowd pleasers. Tell me your choice. I mean, I like action movies. Um, that's not what I meant. I wanted to ask whether you prefer musicals or action movies. Mm. Action movies. <clears throat> yes, I like this one. Action! A post injected into your lumbar spine, steel weapons bl and blazing bullets jet through your silly fluid. The art of explosion is spectacular. You breathe in the chemical exhaust gas, feeling refreshed. This is a new interactive play. This is a part of the show. We hope to perceive the modernity of art through it. To break the fourth wall. I don't have a lot of experience with this job yet. I'm very sorry. We're sorry for providing an overly realistic experience for you. The interactive part has now ended. Please continue to enjoy the show. I need a strategy. Okay. So, here's the earth. Time to change tactics. Lend me your strength. Rules are made to be broken. Yes. Heal us. To guard and defend. Crush them. It'll take more than that. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Oh my god. Try that again. To guard and defend. Crush them. <laughs> Here. Watch this awesome move. Just a scratch. Spider-Man. What did your prescription? <laughs> yeah, Bailu kind of rocks. Uh, 
uh, except we're gonna fucking die. Damn. Uh, what happened to the numbers? Uh, so it has an ability tree system, blah. Oh, really? Pass resonance during combat. Actively consuming energy might lead to pass resonance. Okay. Choose a path you'd like to walk on, continue your journey. All the aeons have already... Um, preservation. Okay. And there we go. Dam the damage dealt by characters within a single follow type increases. this one. And boom. Definitely getting better. Mm, gain a shield, yes. As a computer before you, da, 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 with a carriage screen on top and a gymnast human body, we're running da, 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 rock, paper, scissors. There's a chance of you playing rock, 90% chance of playing scissors. If you choose to flip the table with me and battle the monsters I created, there's an. 
If you leave behind some cosmic fragments behind, your chance of survival is waiting for your response. Fight! And there we go. Lend me your strength. Rules are made to be broken. Lend me your strength. Higher defense, gain shield. So the characters have this, enemies have a chance when they fall to low health from characters attacks. When characters deal damage to enemies, there's a small chance to freeze the enemy. Grassland, speckled clouds, everything is in a pixel drawing. Look down at your hands and find them pixelated cubes. You're wearing a pixel watch on your wrist. With your pixelated thumb, you bang your clothes, change to overalls. Welcome. Okay, so Mario, you stare at the pixel blocks floating in the air as vintage electronic music plays in the background. A group of pixel ants crawls on the ground in the formation that reads, Welcome, Mr. Jabal the Radish. I'm a radish? The ants quickly form several pixel characters that read, That's you. You decide to ignore the ants. On the pixel cloud that drifts in your direction, you can see some words written with crayons. Produced by Herda. Realize you've been attacked by the Kiri... By the Curio, Dice of Dimensionality Reduction. You are now part of the graffiti. Casually drawn by Herda with crayons. On the wall in simulated universe. You kick a brick in ex exasperation and the pixel coins emerge. You want to figure out how to get back to the simulated universe. You may climb out from a pipe to your left or hop on the brick to your right. Mm, let's do that. We'll take the cosmic fragments. Uh, you've eaten a gold coin left behind by a, a trailblazer. The gold coin splits into two, then four. It con consistently divides and proliferates, giving you a surprising windfall. Proceed to see a, a pixel question mark on which you hang your hat. Obviously, this is a save point. You can continue the game later. Okay. You can't run. Go away. Lend me your strength. 
To guard and defend. Crush them. Ah. Rules are made to be broken. More heals. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Here. Watch this awesome move. Lend me your strength. Lend me your strength. Go by Lou. Watch this awesome move. Lend me your strength. Perfect. Actually, that is perfect how that ended up working out. We actually did it. Okay, characters launch after characters launch follow up attack, just after takes damage one time. If the enemy is currently has their weakness broken, then deal this damage one extra time. By disassociation. What is disassociation? Buff by specific bless. Is considered frozen and will be unable to act for a designated number of turns after freezing room. Deals additional ice damage equal to 30% of the enemy's max HP. Has a high chance to become frozen for every six attacks it receives. Kind of like this one. To your surprise, you run into Herda. You can use your cosmic rights to buy things from me. Don't stare at me like that. I'm just worried you might have too much money to know what to do with, but I reckon you're not good enough to get that rich. Hmm. Okay.
Don Hong has joined the team. So you've collected three blessings of the chosen path and activated the corresponding resonance. Looks like you're pretty serious, not bad. Keep on your chosen path and get more overwhelming power. After using the path of resonance, it deals physical damage to all enemies based on max damage that can be absorbed by shields on all allies. Okay. Okay. Show the characters have an increased crit rate. Watch us follow and tap. Yeah, let's do this. And score. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. More blessings the higher the defense becomes. Uh, I guess we have quite a few of preservation, so. Aha, stuffed toy. Nice. The number on the counter continues going up until it stops at 400. The chip embodied in the doll is activated. The destruction is crazy and the preservation is dumb. All the Aeons are stubborn, and Aha is embarrassed. Aha is embarrassed. Aha is embarrassed. You have obtained a large number of cosmic fragments. Well, that's nice. Enemy situation has changed. Freeze. Okay. Change tactics. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Trouble. Try that again. To guard and defend. Crush them. Uh, 
Oh god, now I kind of wish I would have had a fire person. Yeah, we're gonna die. Okay. I mean, it's fine. We managed to get a bunch of points and whatnot, so we can just level up the ability tree stuff. We made it further that time. Herta's store, which I can't do shit with. Okay. Well, moving on. Michonne's Yes What's up, Pom Pom? Bar What's going back for? My mom is so clumsy at messaging people and keeps pushing the wrong thing. Come back regularly and see Pom Pom face to face, Bart. Pom Pom called you back this time for a very simple reason, Bart. <clears throat> Have you ever been confused or troubled on your journey of growth? Mm, not at all. Why, that's not. Huh? Really? Oh. Where do we go from here then? Toy doesn't cover how to respond to that kind of answer. Anyway, it's great to see your continued growth, Bart. There's a little reward for you. Quick, take it. And. About what just happened to Pom Pom, please don't tell anyone. It was just a minor slip up. Cut you dry, you're confused. Mirror is grateful for your kindness, but the question is, why did, when did it appear? You don't remember it being a mirror on the express. What's even stranger is that everyone else on the train seems to turn a blind eye to the sudden appearance of the mirror. Maybe you should recheck the mirror. Ask others about it. You want to save time? You should check it yourself. You approach the mirror and see his figure slowly emerging. A minute, it doesn't look at all like you. 
In the mirror is a girl in the hood, her face hidden by a strange bass, making it impossible to make out her appearance. Freaking react. The girl steps out of the mirror. Wow. So this is the Astral Express. Huh. Perfect. I'm a messenger from the Garden of Recollection. I will be staying on the Express from now on. Okay, Very then. Very nice to meet you. Uh, nice Thank to you. meet you, too. You're a friendly one. However, I should still explain. Garden of Recollection is an organization that worships the Aeon Huli. As a messenger for the Remembrance, we surrendered our worldly bodies and traversed the universe in the form of memes to search the stars on behalf of Huli for the most precious memories. Seeing that I'm able to be here, you must have already come to understand the concept of remembrance and the Garden of Recollection. The memories that you possess have activated a pathway for the Garden of Recollection to make copies and implant me into your thoughts. We can actually just follow you without being noticed. However, the Garden of Recollection believes that you're special. Okay. The memories that you possess are extremely rare and precious and it's very likely there will be even more in the future that's why i thought it'd be best if i introduced myself to you i noticed that you've also received the concept of memo snatchers the garden of recollection wouldn't want you to mistake us for thieves or crooks everything we do is for a higher purpose i believe we've become acquainted now <laughs> So you're just smuggling yourself on board the express. Of course. <laughs> I don't have a material body, so it doesn't count as smuggling. So you're a burglar of physical don't bodies? I want to steal a material body. I gave up my own willingly. There is actually something that I need, so I'll get right to it. The Garden of Recollection wants to preserve your memories. Okay. But don't worry. We won't take it from you. We just want to make a copy of the precious moments. You can see it as a trade between us. This is the Forgotten Hall, created specially to store your memories. We hope that you can visit this place regularly to rekindle your lost memories. The Garden of Recollection will extract the memories they want and give you something in return, in the form of matter and light cones. Come. Mm, okay. I swear on the memories of my past self that you won't be at a loss for anything. Okay, this is actually something that I was definitely wanting to do. Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall? Yes. Let's go. Increase wind damage dealt by all enemies or all allies. Okay. Well, definitely me, definitely that, definitely that, and definitely this. Hold us. Lend me your strength. This sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them! Lend me your strength! Rules are made to be broken! Lend me your strength!
I don't know. You tell me what's in my prescription. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Lend me your strength. Damn it, Don Hong. Eh, it's nothing. I feel fine. Ah, that's good. I was afraid you'd be angry. From now on, all you have to do is enter the Forgotten Hall periodically, and we'll give you an abundant amount of rewards. Um, about me being on the Astral Express. It'd be best if you kept it between the two of us. <laughs> I won't reveal myself. Of to course. So make sure you don't tell them about me, okay? Uh, this is our little secret. Ah, perfect. Thank you. I'm glad you're so pleasant to work with. Hmm. Alrighty then. Just step close to the mirror if you ever want to find me. All right, well, did you find anything? Oh, uh, whoops. An Inquisition spirit on the express? Yeah, these creatures do suddenly pop up sometimes and start questioning the first person they see. What did it ask you? Um, yes. <laughs> what should it ask me? This actually confirms a theory that I've always had. It seems like Inquisition spirits are a creation of the Enigmata. Pom Pom doesn't care whose creation it is. It has to go. Indeed. Welt, do you know what to do? Don't worry. It should be gone by now. Inquisition spirits only ask one question at a time. It will go elsewhere once it gets an answer. Ah, that's good. That should do it. Yay! Thank you. I'm sorry you had to lie, but please do understand. We have our own rules at the Garden of Recollection. Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall? Enter priceless jewels. What do you have? So we have different cards. Then jokes come true. Hmm. Okay. Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall? Yep. That I do. Because I think I need to get to number three. Not to mention, we can get a fuck ton of pools if we keep going on it. Increases ice damage dealt by all allies. So, let's take Don Hong out, and we'll bring March in. Uh, there we go. Ah, 
crush now or crush You'll pay for this. Let's make it quick. You don't look so good. Watch this. There awesome we go. Move. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> Bailu is pretty badass. Might just be because I have a little selection of characters, but I'm feeling she's gonna end up carrying me. March is pretty good too, I guess. Get all the things. It's fine. I mostly just want to get level three done, right? Fire damage is increased. Um. Ok, 
guess we'll bring her, but... Meh? Go by Lou. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Oh, thank God. So hopefully I did the thing right. Travel log. Claim character. Uh, Chinky. We have another freebie character available, apparently. Huh. Well, that'll be nice. Let's see here, hit in hand, quantum damage to all enemies, skill draw 2 increases damage 14% until the end of current turn. Single tar target, then blast. 
to work her overtime. Hmm, okay. Onwards from all missions. Actually, Hang on. Wind, ice, wind, fire, lightning, lightning. I have a wind character, although she rarely attacks. Well, there are two wind characters, so yeah, no, we're good. Rules are made to be broken. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Just a scratch. The sanctuary is but a vision. And boom. Astral Guide. May as well do this. And boom. I need to try to remember to at least do this stuff every day. So that we can continually level up new characters and shit. One more time. Watch this awesome move. Who will it be? Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. 
was about to say, is it just me or is her energy recharge kind of through the roof? Damn. Are made to be broken. Uh, watch this awesome move. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. <laughs> Who am I listening? There we go. Yeah, we need more. XP stuff, so we're just gonna go ahead and run all this crap real quick. Oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Sorry, it gives me a chance to kick my roots off, actually. After we get a certain way through a certain shit. Like, maybe once I catch up with the story, I'll start trying to do more of Herta's crap. Especially because I'll be significantly stronger, hopefully, by then, with way better teams. It. Only to challenge again, but this time five times. Can't wait till we can unlock the, the higher level sheet. Start challenge. Do your thing, guys. Oh damn. That's kind of a waste, but whatever. Who am I listening? Oh stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. Try that again. The sanctuary is but a vision.
And boom, shaka laka. Boom, shaka laka, shaka laka, shaka laka, and boom, shaka laka, shaka laka. Get him leveled up. And we'll see how everybody else goes later. Oh! Hey, I did a thing. See, because if I also do these things every day, like, it helps with a lot of other shit, too. Whoop. It's getting late. Where to now? Only her terrium are accepted for payment. Okay. Uh, well, if I'm going to buy anything, I think I would want to buy this. Nice. Getting all sorts of good stuff. Um, L3. Mm, oh, here we go. View rewards. So I gotta spend fifteen hundred essentially. Okay. Mm, what are we looking like on materials at the moment? Ooh, we only need one more for that. Mm, can I do the thing? I could do the thing if I wanted to. Sampo. And another Natasha. Now we'll go ahead and do this so that I can do that pool. Let's see what we get. Ah, uh, no five star. Oh, but we did get a sample, apparently. Nice. Is Sampo any good, though? Revy, is Sampo any good? Uh, does win damage. Does more damage, plus DOT. Deals winch damage equal to 28% of Sampa's attack and deals damage for 4 extra times for each dealing wind damage to 28% of his attack to a random enemy. God damn! 
He actually does seem like he might actually end up be pretty good. Then we got her. Like, this is kind of good. Getting all sorts of good stuff. However. Activate. As elusive as it seems. Nice. Ultimate plus two. The Trailblazer's talent is also triggered when they defeat an enemy. What is his talent? Each time after this character inflicts weakness break on an enemy, attack increases by 13%. This effect stacks up to two times. Hmm. Nice. The immortal third strike. Nice, okay. Uh, requires equilibrium level two. Ching. Hey, yo. We got more stuff. Okay. Again, more stuff. Do I have the shield items? And if I do, what do I have? Want to buy something? Oh, would you look at that? Huh. Gimme. Okay, hang on, I have more things to claim. We are wildfire. Nice. Damn, long ways to go. But, I mean, that's still fine, though. Holy shit, we're getting a fuck ton of rewards. We are wildfire again. Nice. And then we start getting into more complicated shit from the looks of it. But that's fine. Got us up to 2,500. Plus, we're going to be able to. Do this little shindig. Choice isn't as elusive as it seems. Which is nice. Yeah. Okay. Onwards to the next mission. Well, it 
looks like we can do this. Finally. Where have you been? So let's continue with the story. Well, my friends, are you ready to head? Wonderful. Let's go. Remember to bring enough food and drink to refuel on the way. We have a lot of steps to climb. I have returned. Hmm. Radia, I thought, I thought I'd lost you. Where were you? Are you, are you hurt? I'll fetch the butler right away. No, there's no need. I don't want to see Sebas right now. Sorry, mother. I'm fine, really. I just got into a few skirmishes down in the underworld, but nothing I couldn't handle. The underworld? Oh, I see. Uh-oh. In that case, report everything you saw. Commander Branya. After the failed pursuit at Backwater Pass, the wanted outsiders and I were somehow taken to the underworld. Because of the difficult situation we were in, we formed a temporary alliance to help the residents of the underworld resolve a few issues of survival. We also defeated an ancient robot known as Sparrog and learned some truths about the Stellanon. I'm listening. Go on. Madam Kokovia, it is my firm belief that the visitors from beyond the sky are not the villains we had imagined before. I witnessed them take up arms in the name of justice and risk their lives for the sake of others. I can also ascertain that they did come for the Stellaron, but only to relieve the disaster it has brought upon Bellabog. Mother, you've always known the truth about the Stellaron, haven't you? Well, the responsibility of bearing that truth will fall upon me one day. Such is the burden of being guardian. To carry these secrets for eternity. I ask you to forgive my defiance. I believe that the order to dispatch the outsiders was a mistake. To solve the problems brought on by the Stellar on the architects waited hundreds of years. And those outsiders may be the. the. Get up! Ignorant. Oh, you disappoint me, Branya. You merely glimpsed the tip of the iceberg, and now you think you know everything. You spend a short time with that underworld scum, and suddenly you have the audacity to question my orders. Guards! Take Branya. They are not scum. My entire life. Everything you ever kept from me. I remember it clearly now. This time, this time I am standing my ground, Madam Guardian. And please, stop dismissing me with vague excuses. <laughs> Tell me what you have seen. What exactly it is you are hiding. Why do you send the Silvermane Guards to die in the Fragmentum? Why have you abandoned the people of the Underworld? And why? Why did you have that sudden change of mind? Huh. I see. I knew this moment would come sooner or later. I just didn't expect it would be so soon. You want to know why I gave those orders? Is that right? Do you believe you're ready to learn the truth? Yes. I am ready. Mother. Oh, fuck. Then come with me, Bronya. It is time you heard it. The voice of this dying world. Don't listen to it, Bronya. Makes you wonder about the Stellaron we have, though. Like, can it do the same thing? Like, 
Aren't we no. missing something? Where's Sambo? Nope. Next question. Where's our next stop? <laughs> Find somewhere to put our feet up. As long as it's not Gert to hotel again. Classic, unreliable Sambo. He probably guessed we'd ask where his hiding place was. No sooner are we back in the administrative district, he sneaks off. Friend in need is a friend indeed. Let's go find Landau. Power the Sith. You're talking about Tapard. We should be careful. He's a top silver main guard. He'd probably get a medal for every one of us he brought in. John Hung, what do you think? Oh no, we're going to the sister for sure. It'd be best to pay a visit to Serval Landau. So you think we should avoid Tapard for the time being, right? He's an elite officer of the Silvermane Guards. It wouldn't be easy to get to him. Besides, if he hasn't been persuaded by Branya's letter, we'd be walking right into the lion's den. Mm, makes sense. I guess we better head over to Sir Ball's workshop then. <laughs> but we must keep a low profile. It's kind of hard to do that when we're dressed the way we are. Nothing. It's just a little... new. The last time I was on the surface, I was still a child. I have no memory of any of this. Excuse me. The overworld and the underworld. We... I'm okay. Oh, Let's whoops. Go. Didn't mean to click the button. There are so many Silvermane guards on patrol. Is it usually like this? No. I don't remember the security being this tight last time. <laughs> it might have something to do with us. The Supreme Guardian has probably learned of our arrival already. Branya. Who is it? The shop's closed today. You'll have to come back tomorrow. It's the radiator fixers. Well, that's what I was trying to do, lady, but then you stop. All right, you'll be safe here. My workshop has pretty good soundproofing, and barely anyone comes in. Just what crime did you commit, exactly? They recalled a bunch of guards from the front line to track you down. It's unprecedented. Now they're patrolling the whole city, and everyone's in a panic. Oh, we just... Not yet, March. Branya said we could trust you completely. You mean to say you don't trust me completely? Good. That's smart of you. But you needn't worry. Piccolia and I aren't even on speaking terms. It was her that ejected me from the architects. Oh, God, she used to be an architect? I don't believe you guys would do anything bad. And the architects are going to need conclusive and publicly available evidence for me to think otherwise. Besides, I know the architects, and if they did have any evidence, they would have released it by now. I know Kokolia's style. Get everyone into a frenzy first. Most people in a frenzy don't stop to ponder the details. Oh, whoops. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> you could say that. We were like sisters once. Inseparable. Of course, that was all before she became the Supreme Guardian. These days, I just spend my time fixing things in this workshop and playing music. It's a pretty carefree existence. If I'm not careful, I'll start boring you all with sob stories from the past. Let's get back to you guys. If long lost Branya told you to come here, you must have something important to tell me. You can trust me. I know our paths have only crossed once before, but my intuition tells me you guys are good people. And I've got good intuition, by the way. <laughs> Let's see here. I, always, I do always say, well, the long and short of it. Uh, may as well get the chair. Long and short. Ooh, I'm the best storyteller. Let me, let me. Uh, 
try not to embellish the facts. Telling Serval about your time in the underworld, what you know about Stellaron, showing your friend just letter. So that's what's been happening. No wonder we hadn't heard from Branya recently. After all these years in isolation and without a single word from below, this is what's become of the underworld? I believe you. There's no way you could have invented all those twists and turns. What's more, we have Miss Zila here as living proof. As for the Stellaron, you know why Branya got you to find me. Because you can get us to it. I was still one of the architects working in the scientific research division. I was researching the Stellaron. <sighs> I never thought I'd hear that word again after being expelled by the architects. Come on, I'll tell you everything. Intriguing. Only a very few people in Bellabog know of the existence of the Stellaron. Those that do would never associate it with the Fragmentum or Eternal Freeze. But according to the data recorded in that robot, Svara, the architects dug out the truth long ago. The research results were purposely hidden away to ensure that the outside world would never know of them. Just my life. Out of all the research topics I could have chosen, I insisted on the Stellaron. It's clear now that anyone who wanted to get closer to the truth would have been expelled or abandoned. Maybe I should be thanking Kakolia. All she did was push me out. She could have decided to take a more permanent measure. <laughs> How much do you I know about the Stellaron? The Stellaron and the Fragmentum were linked. So, I was already close to the truth. It's a shame that the architects ejected me before I could discover that the source of the Fragmentum was the Stellaron itself. Before I lost my position, I was applying for permission to survey the Stellaron directly. It was my research topic, but I'd never even set eyes on it. My research was all based on historical data and lab simulations. Not long after I submitted my preliminary report and application, I received my punishment. It was obvious that somebody didn't want my research to continue. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you know what Koi's end goal is? It's been so many years since we last spoke. We were great friends once. There was nothing we wouldn't share. She became a completely different person when she took on the Supreme Guardianship. The convictions she once held, her enthusiasm, it was like they were drawn out of her by some mysterious force. She gave the order to expel me herself and refused to see me. I never understood that behavior, and I gave up trying to use logic to work it out a long time ago. Sometimes I even wonder whether she really did become a different person. Is that possible? Perhaps there's a single guardian consciousness that gets handed down from generation to generation and the real Kokolia has already vanished not quite but she might be onto something there by previous generations of guardians to make such baffling decisions <sighs> who knows but this might make for good songwriting material can we talk to Gippard? <laughs> Gippard? Not a chance. He's a decent guy, but also famously uncompromising. For my brother, orders are more important than anything. Even if you stuck Branya's letter to his forehead, he wouldn't be swayed. Of course. You need to choose your words carefully if you want to persuade him of something. It might be best if I talk to him. Though, I'd need a strategy first. You yes. know where the Stellaron is? I never observed it directly, but I used lab simulations and outbound surveys to establish a rough location. Let me guess, right in the middle of the freeze. According to the survey results, the Stellaron is likely to the north of Bellabog. Somewhere in the vast snow plains. We must locate it as soon as possible. Ideally before Kokolia takes action. Can you tell us the way? Not a problem. I was thinking the same thing, but I'm afraid to 
telling you might not be enough. The area to the north of Balabog has been more or less swallowed up by the Fragmentum. If you want to get to the northern snow plains, you'll need to get past the Silvermane Guard restricted zone on the front lines first. I mean, not that hard. Even if you get past the restricted zone in one piece, you'll have a whole heap of Fragmentum to deal with. Also, not terrible. Yes. That's where the main force of the Silvermane Guards is stationed. They've consolidated their position there in order to resist the encroaching Fragmentum. Sounds like the three of us and Dila might not be enough. Why don't we go back underground and get Wildfire to come with us? Because they're not going to be able to do it. Here we may not have the time. Hey, enough pessimism. Back in my official capacity days, I spent a lot of time in the north. I got to know the soldiers and officers on the front line very well. This calls for brainwaves, not brawn waves. How about I take you over myself? Really? Great. Phew. Less scary if someone you know is leading the way. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see the Stellaron too, you know. It was my research topic for over a decade. You don't get that many decades in life. She's not wrong. You only get about ten. There's if no you're lucky. You should head out as soon as you're ready. I mean, we're about as ready as we're going to get. Darn it! I forgot my brother said he'd be around today. Find somewhere to hide, quick! I'll handle him. Depard! It's you! I didn't think you'd have the time to visit with things so... Tense on the front line. <laughs> Things are manageable. The latest wave of monster attacks has slowed. I'm back in the city to take care of a few matters, but I'll be back on the front line later. I thought I told you. Ah! Oh, yes. That's right. Sis, you look a bit pale. Did something happen? Yeah, you showed up. N no. Why would anything have happened? You don't normally use my full name. Uh, you said you hate it when I call you bro in public. Well, I agree. It'd sound better if I started using your full name. Right, brosick? You can call me whatever you like. Look, Serval, I'm here on official business today. There's something wrong with the barrier generator device, and the engineers in our unit don't know how to fix it. I need you to take a look. Those guys can't think outside the box. Of course they can't wrap their heads around my design. <sighs> I thought it was something big. Leave it here. I'll take a look. Sorry to trouble you. Why are you being so polite? Oh, and why is the city under curfew all of a sudden? Has something happened? I... I've been instructed to keep it quiet. Mm. Oh, little Jeffy. So grown up now, looking down on his civilian sister. Don't say that. Ah, forget it. If I don't tell you, Pela will. <laughs> Last night, Lady Bronya suddenly appeared. She entered Klopoth Fort without saying anything to anyone. The Supreme Guardian is worried that the three intruders may have followed Bronya out of the Fragmentum and back into the administrative district. She issued a curfew for the entire city ordered us to pursue and capture any suspicious individuals. Ah, so that's how it is. No wonder I haven't heard from Branya. Is she alright? I'm not sure. She hasn't left Klopoth Fort. The Supreme Guardian just said she'd returned. Nothing more. <laughs> well, I was sure worried about her. After she disappeared, Pela's workload doubled. She said she barely had time to go out. She really does tell you everything. Oh, by the way, I left my Goethe Hotel limited edition flask behind last time I was here. Let me have a look for it. I think I left it over... Oh, fuck. Wait! Hmm? What is it? You seem pretty off today, Serval. It's, um... Right! You remember how you neglected all those flowers to death? 
I piled them all over there during a bit of spring cleaning, and now they smell terrible. So, don't go over there. Seems like a strange reason not to take a look. Plus, am I supposed to believe you were spring cleaning? You must be up to more forbidden research. Uh, am not? How dare you? What do you take your sister for? Never mind. This is your space, and I will intrude. I've got business to take care of. Bye for now. I swear to God, Jabard. Wait a sec. Uh, those intruders. I wanted to ask. What crime have they committed? They're plotting to overthrow the architects and bring harm to the city. Huh. Reminds me of the accusations against me. Kokolia's methods haven't changed. Don't say that, Serval. I know that you're still nursing a grievance against the Supreme Guardian. But this isn't a joking matter. You're telling me off again? Fine. Whatever, bro. You better be going. Come listen to Pela in my next rehearsal. I will, if I have the time. That's pretty jacked up, Jepard. The coast is clear. You can come out now. Hey. Phew. I nearly suffocated. What kind of plot device was that? I almost lost my cool when he went for his flask. This is bad. Rania's in danger. We have to go save her. Attempting to storm Kapoth Fort by ourselves? Forget it, Zira. I don't care how skilled you are, I'm not sending you on a suicide mission. Rest assured, Kokolia may have changed over the years, but she never hurt Branya. I'm certain of that. You sound like Branya herself. I don't get it. You guys are against Kokolia, and yet in some ways, you seem to trust her completely. Is Jabbar going to the Silvermane Did you Garden? Hear him? He said he needs to take care of a few matters in the city first. If we're fast enough, we can stay out of his way. Come on, let's go to the restricted zone. If we can get ahead of the curve and find the Stellaron, Kokolia will be out of options. Unless they moved the Stellaron. Which is always a possibility. Is really safe? You care about her, huh? You must have become close friends. Uh, close is a bit much. But I made her a promise. Relax. She's the strongest girl I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, jacked up security, all right. How the heck are we gonna sneak in? Serval, we need one of those brainwaves. Leave it to me. Stick close, guys, and don't get spotted. Okay. This is a military base. Trespassers aren't allowed in. Wait, isn't that... Ha! Serval! Long time no see. Well, if it isn't Franz. Long time no see. You still watching the entrance? Well, you see... Uh, you haven't changed, Serval. Still nailing us to the wall. So, what brings you over here at this hour? And who are the guys behind you? My brother said the restricted zone energy lines were malfunctioning. Told me it was urgent. He doesn't trust those contracted maintenance workers. So, he got me in for free. These guys are my assistants. We need to overhaul all the installations here. Uh, I didn't hear anything about the energy lines malfunctioning. Oh! Please, this is a technology division issue. Why would they tell you guys? Come on, let us in already. If the heating system goes down in the middle of the night, are you going to be responsible for all the frozen corpses? N no, that's uh, not something I can handle. <laughs> as your Captain Jepard's sister, it should be fine. Okay, here are some temporary passes. Oh, and remember to give them back to me when you leave. Thanks, Franz. I'll put in a good word for you with my brother and get him to promote you. No, no. Captain Jepard hates all that under-the-table stuff. 
I'd have a better chance if you don't mention me at all. <laughs> oh, okay, no. I thought that was Chapard for a second. I was about to have a no shit moment. See? That was easy. You're Chapard's sister, all right. <laughs> Do you see that mechanical gear bridge? When you cross over to the other side, you arrive at hell on earth. Mm. Arctics. The architects believe that hell can exist on any world, a plight that will inevitably come to be without intervention. In the hmm. future, a terrible catastrophe will arrive. If under Klopof, the preservation's guidance, we fail to construct a barrier, that catastrophe will sweep away the stars, plunging all worlds into hell. That's the belief of the architects. But for us, Hell is an endless fragmentum, a few exhausted Silvermane guards, and the stench of death in the air. If we want to progress further north, we will need to cross that hell. Are you ready? Without hardships to overcome, there is no trip, please. I'm feeling that. <laughs> Let's go then. First, we need to think of a way to get to the other side. Um, I helped set the underlying mechanisms for this type of gear bridge. It's controlled via different terminals in combination. Let's go find them. Is Japard on frontline duty a lot? Yeah, but what made you ask that all of a sudden? It's so dangerous. Don't you worry about him? He's a Lando. <laughs> Maybe that way. There we go. Nice. Kick ass. <sighs> nope. This terminal's offline. We can't control it from here. So what's the plan? Look for another. Every platform linked to the gear bridge should have a similar terminal. I never would have guessed that Jepard and you were brother and sister. I can't say I blame you. We're nothing alike in personality or interests. Darn! Can't activate it. It seems like someone severed the energy supply to the terminals. I... I... Huh. You know, the more I think about it, the more it seems deliberate. With the front line on high alert, they must have rotated the bridge to make it impassable. Then they cut off the energy supply to the terminals to avoid accidental repositioning. Or to prevent deserters from escaping. That way, even if the front line were to collapse, the fragmentum monsters wouldn't be able to make it to the other side. And that's what you think. Some of them bastards can probably fight. Cut off their only retreat. Branya was right. The Silvermane guards really are risking their lives to protect Bellabog. Just my conjecture, but I doubt it's far from the truth. My brother mentioned that they've had to use extreme measures to repel the fragmentum monsters. <laughs> let's press on. We can't activate either of these terminals, so let's look for the energy supply installation itself. Dun dun dun. Hi there, big fella. Oh yeah, we're totally gonna have to fight our way out of here. Mm. 
No ifs, ands, or buts about it. God damn it. That's it. The thing's shaped like a giant iron ball. And it's behind a gate. What are the odds? Its formal name is the Mechanism Energy Hub. It's connected to all the energy lines. I would have thought it covers the entire restricted zone. Hmm. No wonder it's so heavily guarded. One unit for everything? That's a disaster waiting to happen. We learned the hard way. As long as we can gain access permissions to the hub, we can operate the gear bridge terminals. That's why I told them we were here for urgent maintenance. The frontline equipment needs servicing just as much as the rest. So that's why you went for maintenance. Way to go, your ball. I thought you just came up with it on the spot. Come on. Let's see if that guard over there will let us pass. Uh, not yet. I want to investigate me. Gate. You! Hold it right there. This is a military base. Temporary. God damn you. Fuck you. Space anchor activated. Hi, fellas. Bye, fellas. Hey, buddy boy. Yo, evening, soldier. Are you the emergency engineers? I saw you guys hanging around. Did you find the problem? Not yet. Everything looks normal so far. I think the problem is stemming from the energy hub. If you let us in, we can do a routine service inspection. I've worked on various iterations of this type of installation. <laughs> no, 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 no. No can do. No one gets near the energy hub without the security captain's encryption key. Uh, not even the Supreme Guardian? The Supreme Guardian? Hey, no games, you hear? It's so nice <laughs> without the encryption key. God darn, this guy's not stupid. You need the encryption key, right? Which captain should I bother then? Uh, uh, captain Dunn's resting up ahead. Go and find him. If he grants you permission, I won't stand in your way. Well, thank you. Dunn? <laughs> Why didn't you say so? No problem. We'll be back in a bit. What? Does she know this guy too? Captain Dunn. Hey, Dunn. It's been a while. I didn't know you made security captain. Zaval, it's been a long time. You're still so... <coughs> you look good. Allow me to introduce my assistants to you. They help me take care of business at the workshop. Everyone, this is Captain Dunn, an old friend of mine. He used to be an ace on the keys in the band. Oh, you play rock and roll too? Cool! Pleased to meet you. Ah, damn it. I clicked the thing too oh. quick. <clears throat> Hello. Ah, oh, what's that weird smell? <clears throat> uh, Zachary! How many days has it been since you showered? Uh, I showered right before my shift. Hmm? What did you say? I. I haven't showered in two days, sir. Unacceptable, especially in front of visitors. Apologies for the embarrassment, all. It's not a big deal, Dunn. Uh, you know, if you get a chance, would you want to get on stage with us again? <laughs> My keyboard guy is pretty good, but I still miss our military days playing in the band. <laughs> that was a long time ago, Sir Paul. I haven't touched a keyboard in ages. Besides, I'm stationed here all year round. I'm afraid I don't get many chances to return to the city. Though I don't stand on ceremony. Uh, how may I assist you? If everything's in order, you'd better head back to the city. It's not safe here. I've checked the lines. There don't seem to be any major problems. All that's left is the energy hub. 
The guard over there said that I needed an encryption key to open the gate. Can you help me out? Mm, yep. Could you be any less discreet? Anything wrong, Dunn? Uh, sorry, Serval, but can you tell me what Captain Jappard told you? Huh? Oh, uh, let me think. Hey, sis, the energy supply lines in the restricted zone have malfunctioned. Those useless engineers should find the problem. Something like that. And may I ask, when did he contact you? Uh, this morning? Yeah, that's right. He's on urban patrol duty today, right? That's why he popped round and asked the favor. Uh huh. Oh, fuck. Captain Jappard just returned to the front line. I could reconfirm with him. Huh? Uh, hold up, he's back? That can't be. He was still in the city a little while ago. You haven't changed, Serval. You're still a lousy liar. These people you've brought, they're... They're not workshop assistants, right? Uh... Serval, it's not that I don't want to help you. But you should remember that I'm a Bellabog Silvermane guard. How about this? You can leave, and I won't tell anyone about this incident. The outsiders must remain. Negotiation. <laughs> <sighs> well, looks like this is going to end on a fight after all. I brought you guys here, and I'm standing with you till the end. Son, this concerns the fate of Bellabog. No, the fate of our whole world. Survive. We used to rehearse together every day. You must understand. My rock and roll soul is to uphold the dignity of a soldier. The hell? Rock and roll soul upholds the dignity of a soldier? The fu? Alright, well. Fuck you. You'll pay for this. The truth of life and death, revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Break. Okay, either way it ends up being the same, so... No sense in doing it right now. Pew pew. The truth of life and death revealed in an the sanctuary is but a vision. You don't look so good. Fighting.
fighting is meaningless. <laughs> You'll pay for this. <laughs> Let's make it quick. Need a doctor? <laughs> Lend me your strength. Let's go. <laughs> and boom. Serval? Why? I'm sorry, Dunn. Time for a little nap. <laughs> He's just unconscious. Don't worry. <laughs> Stubborn fool. Strong, though. Wildfire lacks people like him. <laughs> Got it. The encryption key. Quick, before we attract attention, let's... Too late. enemy attack alarm every silver main guard in the reserve zone just became our enemy oh damn it I didn't mean to do that we've made it up till now I could lose an arm and a leg for all I care I have to lay eyes on the Stellaron quick back to the energy supply hub anyone that tries to stop us is gonna find out a thing or two if I'd known he had the encryption key from the start I could have snuck in and taken it off him myself Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Sila. Activating the gear bridge alone would be. Okay. This is our chance. I have no interest in conflict. There's always a weakness. Fighting is me. Let's make it. No interest in conflict. The truth of life and death revealed the sanctuary is but a vision. There's always and boom. the end of the story in your own way. What? Who goes to someone there? Ow. You bully! To guard and defend. Crush them. Rules are made to be broken. Heal us. This sanctuary is but a vision. Looks good. There we go. Woohoo! Strength. 
de aqui. Pew pew, motherfucker. Lend me your strength. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Just a scratch. Lend me your strength. Nice. Made to be broken. We shall take back what we lost. No interest in good. The sanctuary is but a vision. Lend me your strength. Instead of Don Hong, I might need to bring somebody else in. No, we're doing just fine. Confirm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, done. Fight our way through. Lend me your strength. Yeah, by losing amazing little shit. Okay. Move carefully. You'll pay for this. 
Um, Don Hong again. Lend me your strength. Fighting is meaningless. Let's make it quick. Need a doctor? No interest in conflict. This battle is unavoidable. Actually, I know what I should have done there. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. Should have done Serval first, but whatever. The truth of life and death, the sanctuary is but a vision. Break. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. Okay. This battle is unavoidable. Don on again. To repent the truth of life and death the sanctuary is but a vision Break. nice control panel energy restored system online certification enabled come on come on 40 percent 65 percent 85%? We did it. We've gained... Gained access to the care bridge. Let's go. Perfect. Okay. We need to get to the front line. We could have a problem. Your brother may be there. He probably is. Hopefully we don't bump into him, but if we do, we'll just have to try and talk to him. Are you sure you can convince him? I've probably got a 30% chance, or less. <laughs> Meaning you could end in a fight. Haven't you noticed yet? Most of our convincing ends in a fight. Yep. We need to be sure, Saval. If we can't reach a common understanding with your brother, will you stand with us? Of course. My word is my bond. I said that I'd stand with you to the end, and I won't go back on that promise. Before our next expedition, I need Simeko to teach me some negotiation skills. Beating people up all the time is cramping my elegance. What elegance? I haven't fought with Jafar since he enlisted. He could never beat me when we were little, but now... Keep at it. Keep at it. Okay, so we can't go that way at all. Uh, 
Oh, look, Jabard. Great. Wonderful. Sir Val. It really is you. Wait, Jepard. Listen to me. When the sentry reported to me, I thought there must have been a misunderstanding. The enemy alarm had to be unrelated to your entry into the restricted zone. Perhaps the intruders had taken you hostage. And yet... Uh, itchy, itchy, itchy. Step away from the intruder, Serval. Walk over slowly and stand behind me. You're different from them. I'm sorry. We have an understanding. I stand with them. Give me a few minutes, just a few. I'll explain every... Enough, Serval. Have you forgotten where we are? We Landau ought to know this place better than anywhere. The outer reaches of the front line against the Fragmentum. Bellabog's most strategic protective fortress. Every Silver Main Guard, every person here, is ready to sacrifice themselves. Ready to spill their blood for Bellabog at a moment's notice. And here you are, leading fugitives into the restricted zone. Attacking my Silvermane comrades in arms, hijacking the energy hub. Are you really worthy of the Landau name? Why do you think I've come here? We found a way to dispel the Eternal Freeze, to seal the Fragmentum. It might be the only lifeline this world has left. If that were true, why wouldn't you report to Madame Kakolia? Why would you sneak into the restricted zone and create chaos? You don't understand. The one preventing us from getting close to the truth is Kokolia herself. You have all seen the Supreme Guardian in person. Do you think you can act as you please because she didn't recognize your version of events? Uh, yes. Listen to me, Chapard. The origin and spread of the Fragmentum is linked to the Stellaron. The meteorite in the Architect's records, it's... I know about the Stellaron. It's exactly what the fugitives behind you are seeking. But the Madam Guardian has already revealed the truth to me. These people have ulterior motives, Serval. They want to steal this treasure from the Architects. The Madam Guardian has warned me before that you were indulging in fantasy. That you'd been exposed to forbidden knowledge. And that you would bring destruction down upon Bellabog. I believe you, Serval. I believe you think you're acting with loyalty to the people. Hmm. It's just... Guards, formation. Arrest these people. We could be inundated with Fragmentum monsters at any moment. We have no time to waste on them. The forbidden is only forbidden to conceal the truth within. is afraid that we'll seize on this knowledge. That the truth will spread far and wide. To save the world, we must risk it all. I've said my piece. Whether you believe it or not is up to you. Regardless, you should know by now your sister's never been one to back down. If there's something or someone you can't abide, you should stand up and resist. And if there's something you uphold, you should uphold it to the very end. <laughs> Think thrice, Jepar. For the judge, you are charged with sabotaging the Silver Main Guard restricted zone. In my capacity as captain, I hereby order that these fugitives be arrested. This isn't like our childhood game, Serval. You won't get any leniency from me. The barrier hasn't been fixed yet. Don't try and be a hero, Jepard. Uh, didn't I tell you? All our negotiations end in combat. <laughs> That's fine. I've been wanting to whip this guy's ass for a while anyways. Although, might have been a position is solid. Oh, excuse me. Move carefully. We've entered the storm. Whoop. To guard and defend. If I have to, I'll switch 
uh, Don Young out for uh, Serval. Uh, we can afford to attack. Stay focused. For glory. Okay. This battle is unavoidable. Damage up. Now. Lend me your strength. Let's go. Yeah, fuck it. Go for it. In the name of preservation. Step aside. I have no interest in stoking conflict. The time is now. Lend me your strength. Let's make it quick. And done. <laughs> this guy knows how to put up a fight. I've never come up against anyone this relentless. Uh, he just won't go down. He's as stubborn as I am. It could be an argument or a fight. He'll do both to the death. That's why he bugs the heck out of me. That's enough, Jepard. Take a look around you. You're the last man standing. Even if I am, I won't yield. We don't need you to yield. We don't want you to yield through force of arms. That wouldn't be a victory for us. Yeah, our goal is the same as yours. Serval's and Branya's. We just want to preserve this world. There's no reason to turn against each other. Japard, brother, surely now you can see the need for pragmatism. Even if you don't believe my outsider friends, you should believe me. Maybe I've wasted your trust. In which case, believe Branya. Lady Branya? <laughs> There's 
nothing more to say, Jepard. The decision is yours. As a captain of the Silver Main Guards, I am duty bound to carry out the orders of the Supreme Guardian. Fine, I've still got some more fight in me. But Lady Branya is the commanding officer for the front line. According to military protocol, the front line directives of the commanding officer clash with those of the architects behind the line. The soldier must remain at their post and await further directives. Nice interpretation of the rules, dude. <laughs> the Silver Main Guards, the Guardian's orders are paramount and absolute. But there is something of equal importance in the oath we take. The people of Felibog. If we lose the people, we lose the reason for our existence. Our fight with the Fragmentum Monsters is for the sake of preservation. But our fight with you? I fail to see the purpose. If you are truly able to prevent our endlessly unfolding misfortunes, then the people of Bellabog are indebted to you. Okay. If you are using lies to mask your true intentions, using my sister and Branya for your own ends. I swear by Klopoth that I will carry out your punishment without an ounce of mercy. You're not lying. I promise you. You must be Zila. You are a skilled fighter. Combat style is nothing like that of the guards. Regardless of what you believe, these guys have been a great help to the underworld. Many people would vouch for them. Hmm. I'm sure. If you want to advance further northward, you must traverse an area entirely corroded by the fragmentum. Yeah, piece of cake. The only way to get to the snow plains on the other side. The guards can give you some time before the next wave of attacks is upon us. You see? Brothers and sisters need to have a scrap once in a while to get back on good terms. So this is how... What's wrong with a bit of violent coexistence between <laughs> siblings? Seems pretty normal to me. I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> I'm pulling your leg. Since I left the military, my brother and I have always steered clear of certain sensitive topics. <sighs> Thinking about it, perhaps he's just been looking out for my feelings, shielding me all along. Knowing my temper, my brother almost certainly went to great lengths on many occasions for me. I should be thanking him. Ah, <sighs> enough apologizing. My Honestly, this would have happened sooner or later. You just gave me an excuse to bring everything forward. Let's do this. I may never have come face to face with it, but this Stellaron cost me a nice, stable job. It's time to get even. <laughs> really? Actually, I have another selfish motive. I want to prove to Kokolia that I was right. Once we've taken care of the Stellaron, maybe she'll go back to how she was. Sorry, uh, hardly the time for me to be obsessing over all this. Well, you've got this. If we want to progress further north, we're going to have to cross that hell. Still, look at it this now. If you're ready to get on stage, let's... Alright. I gotta admit, I had a lot of misunderstandings about the Silvermane Guards. They're fighting for survival here every day, just like Wildfire. The difference is we're making a stand for freedom, while they're just carrying out orders. That's why we have to try and put ourselves in their shoes. In their shoes. Easier said than done. Everyone has their struggles, but how can we understand them if we can't even see each other? Of course I do. I've understood them for a while now. But as far as I can tell, she doesn't need other people's understanding. She needs to understand her own heart. And it's the same with Jepard. I could tell it took a lot for him to lay down his arms. 
It's time and to finish this. Hear the storm on the other side of the city walls. Not a reassuring sound. I hope Serval's right. That supreme lunatic better not have harmed Branya. Uh, harm is a is a big drastic word. Taking her to an object that could potentially cause massive brainwash on the other hand. Looks good. Might be a little more accurate. As soon as the restricted zone gate is opened, the monsters on the other side will turn out in full force. The guards will do their best to stall them and buy you some time. Once you've broken through the front line, there's nothing more we can do for you. You'll have to find out for yourselves what lies within the Northern Fragmentum. So, have you made up your mind? Yep. We're ready. Understood. Keep your weapons close. This will be a fierce fight. Guards, open the gate. Oh, hi there, fellas. Dealing with attacks like this every day. It's a common occurrence. Guards, formation. <laughs> well, I'm gonna make sure I don't owe the guards any favors when this is done. For Branya. Here they come. Steal yourselves. Step aside. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them! It'll take more than that. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Rules are made to be broken. Yeah, this won't be too bad, though. just by looking at you that you haven't fully recovered. Outsiders, Zila, the second wave hasn't started yet. Make the most of this opportunity and make a break for it. Huh? Uh, Serval, aren't you gonna look for the Celeron with us? My brother can't hold them back by himself. He wasted a lot of energy on us. It's my responsibility now. Besides, if I'm not here to help, I don't know what might happen in the next wave. I want to go with you. I do. I always wanted to catch a glimpse of the Celeron with my own eyes, and now it's so close. But I can't abandon my brother and the other guards. I'm a Landau. It's up to you now. I believe in you. You've given me new hope. Well, 
okay then. Get hold of the Celeron before Cacolia realizes what's happening. Uh. Charge! Hey, March. Don't forget to take a picture of the Celeron for me. Say no more. We're good at this. Don't worry. I don't know what the hot blooded thing was about. Is it because of the fact that there's like. Each one seems to follow a particular idea? Something's happening on Urela 6. Shouldn't we go down there, Himiko? <laughs> Have faith in them. Besides, this is his first trailblazing expedition. How will he be able to look back fondly without a few twists and turns? Are you bored, Welt? I understand. But we have lots of opportunities ahead of us. Let's leave the memories of this expedition for them. <laughs> so you think we'll be safe, right? Yes. We haven't seen any Eon or Emanator level imaginary reactions. Relax. This is a young person's adventure. We shouldn't interfere. At most, we could offer a little off site assistance. <laughs> off site with you means a fucking orbital cannon. Is this the fragmentum Japard was talking about? The erosion we saw in Backwater Pass pales into insignificance. Now can we pinpoint the Stellaron? was very likely hidden in the snow plains north of Bellabog. If we want to get there, I'm afraid we'll have to find an exit to this fragmentum maze first. Guys, does this place feel weird to you? It feels like... like there are loads of eyes staring at us. This place makes my flesh crawl, like there are insects under my skin. You have no guide and no way of detecting the Stellaron. We'll just have to advance gradually and cautiously. Don't be disheartened. The stronger the fragmentum contamination, the closer we are to the source. Okay then. Thanks for that, Danhong. Whoa. Even the monster got frozen. Oh, look! Up ahead on the ground! What is that? This is. Ronyus! We found yeah. it in the orphanage. She's been here already? Isn't them. It must be a kind of echo. Some type of residual energy replicated by the fragmentum. Okay. It means they were definitely here, right? Yes. But it looks like they went that way. <laughs> Just in time. We had no idea which direction to take. Let's go. Does it get snow gloop? Objects that have objects that have objects that have been exposed to fragmentum corrosion might not be stable. I would Okay, well let us go that way. You still haven't told me what this place is, mother. Seven hundred years ago this was Bellabog's northern border. And the site of an ancient battle. Here is where Elisa Rand led the first Silver Main Guards in resistance against the Legion. Now, it is nothing more than an abandoned corridor filled with the sounds of old world echoes. Don't let its fragmented appearance fool you, Ronya. On the day the promise is fulfilled, these ruins will become the breeding ground of a new world. Oh, mother, do you 
truly believe the Stalaron's promise? It summoned the blizzard beyond our walls and opened the door of the Fragmentum. It destroyed our civilization. It... And yet... The crime of our ancestors was their... Inability to embrace that destruction sooner. What? From the moment those intruders descended from beyond the sky, this world was handed a death sentence. But the Stellaron has reserved for us a thread of hope. There is a price to pay for new life, wiping away every decaying vestige of the old world, renouncing the meaningless and lingering struggle. Yeah, it's not good. Promise is fulfilled, Rania. No longer will we have to squander our lives guarding this wasteland. You and I will witness the new world rise from the ruins. No. All right, let's go. This is a complex mechanism. Ah, I knew this wouldn't be simple. Oh, wait, wasn't there some big energy hub looking thing back in that empty- Yep, let's go. I can't say I like the idea of interacting with our surroundings, especially this deep into the Fragmentum. However... However... There's no other way. Desperate times call for desperate measures. It worked, right? But... The gates didn't move an inch. We need more power. Are there other units around? Hmm. It's clear that whoever designed these mechanisms didn't want outsiders to get them. Look, over there! I think I can see- Oh, I see it too. And... Whew! Box almost fucked us. The sanctuary is but a vision. Lend me your strength. Reach the end of the story in your own way. Yeah. Oh, nice. Do it. Do it. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. And score. Oh God.
Yeah, I doubt we're gonna win this. And retreat. So it's a combat thingy up that way. Oh, there we go. Okay, detecting obstacle in the pass. this first, apparently. Destroy man made objects. Did you hear that? This mechanism must be. Come on, let's find the next. Where is the next mechanism? Oh, behind that gate. There's no switch. We need to find a way around. I've never seen such a desolate place. At least in Rivet Town, you could tell that people used to live there. Rivet Town is only at the outstretched finger. Uh, turn counterclockwise. A fragmental phenomenon I haven't seen before. Not wise to get too close. Better check with Mr. Yang. What is this? It appears to be a rift in space torn by the fact of as it runs reality, caravan of corrosion. Uh, as with galaxies, its derivative of the fragmentum is always carried under it, blah 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 blah. Don't care. Oh, that's how we get relics apparently. Uh, 
Uh -huh. I see how this is supposed to work. Turn counterclockwise again. I did activate the mechanism, didn't I? Pretty sure I clicked on it. There it goes. Success! Another mechanism shut down. I want to ask you. I ask away. I still remember those dreams you mentioned to us. I know you're wide awake right now, but I need you to try. See if you can recall the voice you heard. Close my eyes and bet it. Try to recall the dreams as you're training. As your train of thought deepens, the voice comes to you. Well? Try to repeat the whispers you heard. This is merely speculation, but perhaps the voice you heard is the Stellaron somehow conveying information to Cocolia. Body. It's resonating with the Stellaron on this world. Huh? You mean that Stellarons can communicate? I've never heard that before. Well, there's never been a human that could accommodate a Stellaron in their body. No, the Stellaron knows we're here. Aren't we walking straight into a trap? Yeah, but there's no way for us to not do it either. And Branya may well be the bait. Don Hung's speculations are usually right on the money. But even if we've guessed right, we can't go home now. <laughs> There's no way back anyway. At least Cocolia won't catch us off guard now. So what if it's an ambush? We're not about to lose now. I have to save Branya, beat Cocolia, and crush this Stellaron thing to dust. <laughs> I can see love's gonna go ballistic on somebody. Okay. Special mechanism increases the max damage that can be absorbed by shields created by allies. Best of percent characters protected by shields deal 75% more damage. So, they want you to make sure that you are using shield characters in that apparently. Fuck you. Lend me your strength. To guard and defend. Crush them. Just a scratch. I mustn't fall. Lend me your strength. Oh, what do we have up here? Uh, are these echoes too? Yes. The fragmentum here seems to have made a special connection with Cocolia. Mm, turn on, please. Civilization. And after 
all fell still. Their memories were scattered by the blizzard. They spent lifetimes writing songs of praise that lauded the bravery of humanity, but couldn't spare the time to gaze up into the stars. To those entities of greater magnificence in the heavens above, a thousand years is but a passing moment. The attainments of insignificant beings, nothing more than a footnote. I shall not follow the Guardian's misguided steps down that blind alley of narcissism. If persistence is futile, then one must choose a new beginning. But, Klippa, the Preservation, are they not one of the magnificent entities you speak of? Is it not their strength that has sheltered Bellabog this entire time? The Preservation. Has the Preservation ever looked humanity in the eye? So you want to praise the gods, the yet you get mad at this god. You will hear the real voice of magnificence, Ronya. Then... You be dumb, lady. I have no freaking clue what you're even talking about. Here, what looks like another completely new monster. Considering where we are, it would be surprising if we didn't run into strange enemies here. I don't care how strange it is, it's blocking our way. Let's get it. Okay, then. Question is, all right, I no, we're actually good. <laughs> pew pew. Never forget. Move carefully. Basic attack punishment. Hmm. F you. Let's make it quick. The truth of life and death revealed in an instant. The sanctuary is but a vision. Quick! Rules are made to be broken. Let's go. Okay, skill punishment. I've no interest in conflict. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend, crush them. Rules are made 
to be broken. And boom. This enemy is completely different. I didn't know it was a product of the Fragmentum. I think we were fighting a human. Unlike those random low-level Fragmentum creations, this one seems to have a mind of its own. Seems to be able to use complex tactics. Look, Branya and Kokolia's echoes. They must have come through here. The voice is getting clearer. That means we must be really close, right? I sense that we're very near to the northern snowflakes. <laughs> Alright, so. We're gonna go ahead and do at least a pull, I think. And then see who I get. Hmm. So, Buff Lady or Blade? Buff Lady Blade, Buff Lady Blade. I think I'll go ahead and do a blade pull. Okay. Nah, damn it. Ugh, just cards. That's gross. Okay, well, that was a jack for a pool. Hopefully, we'll get some better luck on some of the other ones. Because we do have more pools here that we will get here shortly. We're getting pretty close to this 10 pool also. So that'll be nice. But alrighty, yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there for now, guys. Um, I will be back shortly with more Throwback Thursday where we're gonna be playing uh, Gretchen and Clint going commando. That's right. That's what we're doing. I uh, got to get the PS3 all set up, ready to go. It's a little finicky. So I want to make sure that it's like ready to go so I can just click over and it's good. Um, so I want to say thank you all for tuning in to the Flying TBRC this evening. Uh, or this midday. I really appreciate your guys' viewership. Um... Let's see who is available for a raid real quick, because we will do a short raid before I dive in, while I switch things over. Um, you know what? We'll go ahead and do... I think we're going to go ahead and raid Aegis. Or actually, hold on. No, yeah, we'll raid Aegis. I already said it. We'll go ahead and do it. He's playing Fortnite. So, yeah. Not that every time I started, folks. Don't forget, make sure you guys enjoy yourselves some good food, some great drinks, even better company. And I'll see y'all on the flip side. Happy trails, folks. Boop. <laughs>